We started the fall with the goal of developing an activity book or at least four different activities on um, the pike so that we can advance our goal of creating an activity book slash comic book. It's going well. What we realized was that we were actually exploring techniques in developing activity books. So we came up with a little mini booklet on developing activity books. Take your theme, explore your theme, dig down a little bit. Our theme that we used in ex as an example was the sky wheel, meaning the double Ferris wheel that uh, was at the Long Beach Pike. Nicole Pineda, high schooler at the time, now in college, had drawn us an image of the pipe, the double Ferris wheel that we can use. I did some research about it, about the sky wheel and its connection to Long Beach. It was actually on the pike and the inventors, Elmer and Curtis Villar, lived in Signal Hill. Here is a prompt for the cyclone racer. Again, another Nicole Pineda drawing and then some prompts on questions we can ask ourselves so that we explore some answers, a place to write it. So this is still a product in development. We also wanted to do word searches, so we explored some websites where we could use word searches and the ability to print those word searches in another uh, for-profit activity book. We don't want to uh, use the website and then find that we can't print it. We also came up with our own grid and a technique for creating our own word searches by hand. Uh, this one, the website one, is automated, which makes it easy, but you have no control. So this one gives you a little more control. And here's me having practiced with it. And here's one that once I've practiced with it, I took them and I put them in the words in a grid, and then I filled out the rest of them. This one is themed on aviation history. And there's the completed one. So it's sort of like a step-by-step -step on how we did it. And this is mazes. Here's how we worked on the maze. I used, actually, this is a maze generator that was... Um, by Al Swigert on uh, Scratch, right? And you can see the typical Scratch icons, which is a programming environment for learning, an environment for learning games programming developed by MIT. So we took the maze and then I removed the two objects and then I put me, Squiggle Mom, and the very tiny sky wheel. And then we worked on spot the differences. At the same time, I made videos on how to make all of these, not the spot the difference, that one's a little more convoluted. And then we're working on crossword puzzles next. So the examples. So I have what I did for First Friday in Belmont Heights, oh, not Belmont Heights, in uh, Bixby Knowles. I came up with my quote-unquote product, the Pike Stories activity book about the sky wheel. And we have the contributors, and we have characters in it. Leclerc should also be in here, but he hasn't uh, created his drawing yet. But we have me, Squiggle Mom, and James, who lives in Norwich in the UK. James is very knowledgeable about historic amusement zones all over the world. And he's a fictional character created by Brick for Fun. And he says, I want to tell you about the sky wheel. And then this is my writing. So he's fictional. He can't write himself. Although with AI, hmm, that is a really interesting concept later for that. Then the Pike stories, um, which was this one was an example that was created by Leclerc. And it... Uh, used one of the websites, <clears throat> but they permit us to reuse it. This is that uh, image from the maze from the Developing Activity Books Guide. And then this is the spot 
the different. So this is all themed around the sky wheel. Four different activities. Is it one, two, three, four, and a drawing activity. Five different activities related to the sky wheel. So the idea is that next we will work on the cyclone racer or another ride. And then so we will get our content little by little and eventually we can produce something maybe a little bigger that has is a little more readable. And this one is, so we consider this to be like a workbook because it's incomplete and it just gives prompts so that people can think about it. Now the spot the difference, ideally the um, image is not as complicated as this one. I took an actual image photograph and I edited it and uh, that's how I got my spot the difference. But you could actually use a drawing and then adjust the things in the drawing. So that's it. That's what we did this fall. And thank you Arts Council for um, the grant that helps us to advance this because now we can see a way to getting our activities out. Thank you.